And we're back. Another episode. Professor Michael Welch .com introduces an amazing course, Prisons and Prisoners. We left off with an overview of this book, which will figure prominently in the course, Escape to Prison, Penal Tourism, and the Pull of Punishment. Over the years, my career has, has been shaped by my experiences overseas. I had been a visiting professor at the London School of Economics, Mannheim Center of Criminology, Social Policy at the LSE. A couple of stints there. I've also been a visiting professor at the University of Sydney, Faculty of Law in Australia. More recently, I was a visiting professor at the Faculty of Law at the University of Buenos Aires in Argentina. And as part of my interest in research and exploration, I expanded my, my reach into cultural sociology of punishment very much influenced by my colleagues at Yale University, namely Philip Smith. And culture and punishment are very important social entities. And I used my time at these various universities in Australia, Argentina, UK, um, not only to, to study human rights, but also to examine institutions such as prison museums that serve as cultural vehicles for transmitting information, knowledge, and interpretation on punishment. And in this book, brought to us by the good folks at the University of California Press, I rely on a handful of concepts that explain penal tourism, it attempts to interpret why people would go to a prison museum on holiday, why would they be drawn or pulled into these venues of punishment, and there are a few, there are a few hypotheses, one of which is they want safe contact. Going to a place like Alcatraz appears to have an element of danger, but it's safe contact. They, these visitors want to engage in an activity that interests them, that is driven by curiosity about the interior of, of prisons, but they want to do so without being harmed. If they change the calculus at Alcatraz in terms of tourism and said, you know, come, you can come in, take a look around, enjoy yourself, but I'll, let's say that three out of ten visitors will not get back onto the ferry and return to the wharf in San Francisco. We're going to hold you for a prolonged period of time. Now, would you take that chance? a 30% chance, roughly speaking. Safe contact. This book also relies on the recognition that these prison museums, Alcatraz, Argentine Prison Museum, the Sydney Barracks in Australia, the Melbourne Jail, Robben Island, South, South Africa, they are storytelling institutions. They rely on techniques of performance. And in doing so, they, they transmit narratives about the role of that institution in a larger repertoire of punishment. Safe contact, storytelling institutions, along with absorption. When people go to these institutions, like the Eastern State, in Philadelphia, which is featured on the cover of this book before you. And the architecture is a source of, 
is a source of interest. It draws us in that pull of punishment, but through another technique, there is performance and absorption. Visitors absorb, they internalize the interior as well as the exterior of these architectures. This leads to the appreciation of sightedness. These are former prisons. They're not currently operating as penal institutions. They are the remnants. But they are on the very site of these former institutions. And being on that site also adds authenticity to the experience of penal tourism. Now that's just a very brief Reader's Digest condensation of this book, Escape to Prison. It relies on thick description, which is in-depth interpretation on each of these topics. The museum effect, the dream of order, speaking architecture, work, economics, and just kind of highlighting a few of these areas of interest. And this is a book that will allow us to make these connections between the empirical world of incarceration, if you will, and the more imaginary element of exploration and how subjectivity, how in what I call phenomenology, the process of consciousness, how we shift our mental states, helps us understand the modern history as well as the postmodern condition of prisons and punishment. And then we can take that leap into issues of racial and economic disparities, mass incarceration, the correctional industrial complex, all of which have precedence in earlier forms of incarceration. So with that, I want to make one more transition. The next episode, we'll look at the syllabus, but let us use the World Wide Web to make one more connection to this course and to my work. Google Scholar, very easy to find, right there in, your, in the search engine. You're just one click away or two clicks away see these recommendations yeah I want to see all these recommendations that are related to my work but more importantly and more directly you just enter Michael Welch Rutgers or author Michael Welch into this search engine and let's see what it delivers that's me Michael Welch Rutgers University and you click that and this is a summary a listing of my publications, as well as citations and so on and so forth, if that's, interest, if that's of interest to you. But what's interest to my students and people who are following this lecture series is they, they want to see how my work is, is, is described in very brief capsules. This is a book of mine from year 2002, where I studied this crossover between immigration laws and the expanding immigration system, which is still very much of a headline topic. This intersection between the expanding immigration system with detention along with the economic and financial imperatives of this apparatus was the subject of this investigation that became the book Detained. Corrections a Critical Approach, we've already talked about that contribution to the literature. And we also have, let's see, where are we? Oh, Ironies of, Pri of Imprisonment. I'm mentioning these as sources, those of you who are, who are doing your own research projects. This is a very useful search engine, a very useful uh, product of the internet that, that condenses, compiles, and delivers these snapshots 
of scholarly work. Punishment in America, another book of mine you might find useful. Social control, ironies of imprisonment. Escape to prison, here we go. Published in 2015, very much still part of our circulation of ideas on the cultural sociology of punishment. And there's also journal articles. Again, I study this phenomenon, which has become known as crimigration, the, the, this integration of crime and immigration as expressed through detention, incarceration, producing such outrages as kids in cages in the US at the Mexican border. Also study the media and how they shape our perception of crime as well as punishment. I've also studied the criminalization of protests, which is extremely relevant to the world we live in in, 2000, in, in 2020 with protests, especially along lines of protesting the racial divide in criminal justice and incarceration. But let's just leave, leave it at that. Um, we've had several episodes introducing this course on prisons and prisoners. I hope you find it helpful. In the next episode, we're going to look at the syllabus, and then we're going to be a little bit more um, pragmatic in terms of how to get through this course and how to successfully complete the course, and more importantly, learn something, and just as important, have it to be an enjoyable and meaningful experience. All right, I'm going to get some coffee. I recommend the same for you.